Hello and welcome to Stropicals. Right guys, in today's video, we're after getting new fish. Now, we're going to show you how we here at Stropicals put our fish, new fish, into our aquarium. And why we use it this way. So if you like the video guys, be sure to like. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on awesome videos. And I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Right guys, so the first step you want to do before you put your new fish in your aquarium is always turn off your lights. Now, that way, the fish in your aquarium won't get a chance to see your new fish. And it won't stress your new fish out because they can't see and they're not basically scared going into a new environment. So that's the first step guys, always turn off your lights in your aquarium when you're putting in new fish. Right guys, so the second step is, you're going to grab your bag of fish and place them in your aquarium. Now, why are you placing them in the aquarium when they're still in the bag? It's so it'll get used to the water temperature in your aquarium. Because once they come out of the aquarium where you bought them, the temperature out of that aquarium towards your aquarium is going to be slightly off. So this gives them a chance to settle in their new aquarium of the water temperature. Now, we will leave them there 15 to a half an hour, 30 minutes. 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And that way it gives them the time to settle in the aquarium you're putting them in, in the water temperature. Now, as you see, the bag will just float. So you don't have to worry about that and just leave it. You can leave it there with the lid open or just shut the lid. Doesn't really matter. So that's step two, guys. Right, step three then, guys. You're going to need a net and the scissors. Something to open the bag. So we're going to open the bag. I'm going to pull it across like that. We're going to grab our net. Now guys, why we, used, why we use a net and we don't put in the water that's already in the fish bag is if there's any ammonia that was in the shop, in the shop's tank where these fish came out of, at least then we're not putting any ammonia into our aquarium or tank. Um, now as much as that's a small volume of water, we still don't want any ammonia at all going into our aquarium. So this is why we're going to use a net guys. Now most people might not agree with this. But this is how us Herostropicals put our fish into our aquarium. Now I have the bag back in the tank guys. Um, the only reason I had them in the sink is because I was cutting the bag open. So now guys all the fish are in the tank. So what we're going to do now is just pour this down the drain because we don't need this water now now guys for the final step what we like to do is add in some bioactive tap safe plus now this have aloe vera in it so why we add this in guys is to just lessen that chance of our new fish and even our fish that were already in the tank being less stressed because there's new fish gone in so we'll add a bit of this into the tank just to lessen that stress factor down in our fish. And that's how us Harris Tropicals put in new fish into our aquarium guys. Right guys, if you've made it all the way, thanks very much, it's much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video. Um, now, not a lot of people will agree with how we here as Tropicals put our fish, our new fish, into our aquarium, guys. Um, a lot of people out there like to quarantine their fish before they put their fish into a, an aquarium. Now, why do you quarantine your fish in case they have any diseases, which makes sense. Um, I'll also do a future video on quarantine and fish in the future for you guys. Um, but us here as Tropicals, this is how we here transport our fish into a aquarium guys, new fish. 
Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, best of luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm.